If you've been a long time subscriber to my channel, you may remember that about four years ago or so I had a problem with my brakes and I built this test set so I could see what was happening with the brakes. Well, this is the original box here. And since then, I've helped several people with fixing their trailer light system. And so this actually has turned out to be quite handy. However, there is a few limitations to this box, and I've learned over the last couple years what I need to do to update it. Not only am I going to do a refresh of this box, but we have a big brother and a little sister to go along with this box. I'm now calling this Trailer Test Set Panel version 1.0. This is version 1.5. This is version 2.0. So what are the differences? Well, the easiest thing to do is to kind of go over what this one did and did not. And again, this is the original test set. And you used it by connecting the vehicle to the left side. And the connector on this side is just a standard outlet that you would use to connect the trailer to. And all this does is just monitor the various lines from the tow vehicle to the trailer. And for example, we have a voltmeter and an ammeter. The voltmeter, we have a setting for brake, auxiliary, left turn, taillights, right turn, and battery. And that will show up on the voltmeter. The ammeter is connected to the brake current only, and it can do up to 30 amps. You really can't use a multimeter to measure the brake current because most multimeters are limited to 10 amps. And the trailer electric brakes, they run normally 6 amps per axle. So 6 amps for a single axle, 12 amps for dual, 18 amps for a triple. You can see that this is required because a 10 amp multimeter will not work. We have LEDs here for the various leads. And then finally we have banana plugs. If we need to use a higher resolution multimeter, we can connect to any line. And then also, if you just wanted to turn the taillights on, you could connect a banana plug from the taillight to the battery without being connected to the tow vehicle, as long as the RV was connected and it had a battery. And you could turn those on at the campground if you wanted, for whatever reason. These meters are getting hard to find. So I'm going to do a refresh on this by replacing the meters, redoing the logo, which I'll explain later, and swapping this out for another female connector like this one because one of the biggest issues with this is storing this in a cabinet with this huge pigtail. So it would be easier if I could just plug the pigtail in on this side. And also that would allow me to use a commercial pigtail for example. So we are going to go beyond just RVs and be able to use this on any trailer. Another limitation of this panel is that you need to be connected to the tow vehicle for it to work. So I wanted to be able to do that independently from having to have a tow vehicle. So I came up with Little Sister version 1.5. And this will replace the tow vehicle with a qualification. So you can simply plug this into the pigtail and then again plug the trailer into this side. And now we can turn the reverse circuit on as well as the taillights. And then we have a flash turn here. We can do a left turn. We can do a right turn. Or at the bottom, we can do the hazard lights. And finally, the switch here, when you depress it, it will turn the brakes on. Now the limitation that I'm referring to is that when you turn the brakes on, it's not going through a brake controller, so the brakes are going to go on hard. You can't dial like a number three or number four or whatever. When you turn this on, the brakes are going to be applied full strength, which actually is better probably for troubleshooting. But just remember that's going to take a lot of juice from the battery and will heat up the brakes if you leave it on too long. So if you're doing brake testing, I would recommend just doing it real quickly. And since the publication of this first one, I've done another video all about trailer wiring. And you should realize there's actually two standards for trailer wiring. One standard is the RVIA, the RV Industry Association, NFPA 1192. Well, the colors of these banana plugs correspond to the NFPA 1192. 
So white is ground, blue is electric brake, left turn is red, battery is black, taillight marker is green, right turn is brown, and backup is yellow. Well, you're going to run into trouble if you're going to use that color code on, a, like, say, a gooseneck trailer. And so along the bottom here, there's a different color code. White, blue, yellow, black, red, brown, green, and violet. This corresponds to the SAAJ2863 standard. So actually, I've shown both standards here. One with the colors of the banana plugs and ones with the legend. Now this one really has not been obsoleted. It just depends on what functions you want. So again, this one will monitor the interaction between the tow vehicle and the trailer. This one will replace the tow vehicle and allow you to do all the functions on the trailer. Also, you can use this standalone. So if you have a four wire trailer, you can use this without needing this. And all it requires is plugging in this adapter into here and then you have a four pin trailer. Now when you do that you're not going to have any power to power the lights so on the side we do have a connector that you can hook to the battery. And finally we have the big boy version 2. One thing I decided early on is I didn't really need those banana plugs because I didn't really use them in the four years that I had the first one. So I omitted them, but you could put them here if you wanted to. I make the template for the front panel available, and you can download it and modify it as you wish. You could add the banana plugs here. But what I did, I added a set on the voltmeter. So wherever you have this voltmeter, you're going to read the same thing here. So if you want to hook a digital meter that has more resolution than here, and say you go to electric brakes and you can plug that into a multimeter, get a better resolution if you desire. This also replicates a little graphic here of a trailer. These are the running lights, uh, taillight marker, right turn, left turn, and backup. And you see these switches look identical to version 1.5. We have reverse taillight marker, the hazard, and right and left turn blinker, and the brake. And also we have a new section here and this is a fault test or short test circuit and these are all breakers if say your left turn signal is uh, shorted out in the trailer it's going to pop the breaker like that if you turn this on this will give you a tone that is a low current tone so even if you have a short it will give you an audio indication and then when you're under the trailer poking around in the wiring, if you find the short and remove the short, the audio will stop on this. So you don't have to go back and look at the meter and see if it's on or not. You can just let this beep until you hear it stop and then you know you found the short. This basically is the first two versions combined plus this section. And just to kind of show you how difficult it is to remember the color codes, if you look in here real closely, you'll see that I got a plate over this because in the prototype, I actually made a mistake in the color code and this is a fairly expensive panel and I didn't want to have to buy a new one so I just had a little plate made from the same company that built the panel and I just screwed it on. I mean, it's okay for the prototype but I've corrected the file so you won't have that issue. And this is test panel 2.0 and this is kind of expensive. This will cost up to $400 to buy all the components to build it so it's not really that cheap. Uh, this one is maybe around $200, and the version 1.0 is about $150, I guess. So in a future video, I'll do an update of this, which really means just replacing this connector with a female connector like these. Then I'll do a build video for this one and a build video for this one. And then I'll do two or three videos or however many on how to use these. You'll have a choice of three different types of instruments. If you've already built this one, building this one probably is all you really need because this adds a lot of functionality. So again, this monitors the trailer circuits. It has to be connected to a tow vehicle or to this. This actually is just a set of switches that turn the various lights on and off. This is a combination of both of these plus the short detector. In the next few months, I will continue on with these projects, and hopefully by next camping season, they'll be done.